this is the dawning of the age of aquarium. We were in the aquarium. Tammy's over there. She's looking at the penguins. So I'll try to get you guys some pictures in the aquarium, Boston Aquarium. It's right next to our hotel. There's the penguins. Pretty cool. They're very obedient. They're taking turns eating one at a time. Excellent swimmers. Look what I found. A coral reef. Rock hoppers. These are called rock hoppers. They get kind of loud. Hear that? They're talking. This is over there. He's he's up higher. They got big fish in here, trigger fish. They got some lane snappers that I saw. And they got like mutton snappers. What is that saw. biggest one right there? Huh? That's a trigger fish, I think. <clears throat> yeah, they're good to eat. I saw a big jack. Look at that guy. to do a live video. I like this video and work from there. Here's some seals. Oh. Well, these things are about like the dolphins are hanging the butt while you're fishing, I think. They're too smart for their own good. Actually, that's probably not true. They're smart. Smart. Getting excited now. And as soon as these people walked in, buddy, they started swimming. Putting on a show. Look at that. <laughs> she cleaned that one's teeth with a little toothbrush. Seal dentist. So when they ask if you want your teeth sealed when you're at the dentist, I think that's what they mean. If you want your teeth sealed, <laughs> she, she gives them a special treat and then they get their teeth clean. Well, he gave her a kiss. Well, close up. Well, a close up right there. Seahorse. Giddy up. You see any more? Oh, over there. there's one over there. Seahorses for sale. What does that say? Seahorses for sale. This one's coming. Coming at me? Maybe. Seahorse coming at you. Pick this one right here. You can see how good it is. This one's getting at It's hard to see with these plants. There he goes. Oh, look at that. There's one at the top of the mountain. Oh, yeah. That's pretty, y'all. Your hand is shadowing it, honey. Let's see. Zoom out. Now 
such a good shot. You can see a good thing. I got a real good shot. Pretty. Of course, everybody wants to see Piranha. There's a Piranha. Yeah, be careful. Wow, this one is over here. Oh, these are Amazon fishes. Look at that one. People. People fish for those. Really? Yeah, pro, 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 let's see if you see what, oh, uh, Arowana, yeah, yeah, uh, um, yeah, I've seen people on fishing shows trying to catch them and these big catfish, no, see that big catfish in there, I saw, what's his name, the guy that catches all the crazy oh, yeah. fish, he did a show, He's huge. trying to catch that catfish, it's a nice turtle, man. That's the one that jumps out of the water. Like he'll jump completely out of the water and eat like these uh, fruit and stuff like that hanging off of trees. <laughs> That's a big jack, Tammy. That's a jack corral is what that is. You think so? Yeah. Good God, he's Well, I don't know. I mean, he looks like one, but he don't have the color in his tail. I don't know what he is. He's so big. I'm sure they tell us somewhere. Sure, there's a triple tail right there. Oh yeah, there. Yeah. That's what size you want to catch right there. This is like a Christmas tank. It's got all the colors. Yes. Oh, pretty. <laughs> it's like somebody came in and decorated it. As close up as you're gonna get. He's a little one. The big one. He just wanted to get fat. Yeah. The big one is way over there. Hopefully he'll come this place. Whoa, we'll miss something. What's with just, the swim tail on it? just fly by. Here's the big guy. You can see his hand right here. Oh, look. Now I got the shot. There he is. A lot of personality. We had to pay taxes on our tea, and that wasn't very appealing, shall we say. Imagine it permitted. Yeah, actually, on, on boats, we wave all the time to people on shore, on other boats. It's only when we get back on shore we start getting glued to our phones and looking at our sneakers. But out here, we have a warship afloat in the world. She was built right here in Boston in 1797, and she won her famous name. Today, it's uh, certainly mostly Italian in flavor. There are many wonderful restaurants in that neighborhood, also pastry shops. Certainly well worth it. If you will walk out from Dorchester to Castle Island, then along all of... And the brick and granite building beyond that is Commercial Wharf. Now you can pretty much imagine how these were once warehouses. Now we are headed Spooky -okey. to the ghost tour. Did you, did you hear? Is there something back there? No, I'm eating my delicious lobster roll. Which a is not roll. It's not a lobster roll. roll. It's a dessert. It's a lobster. It's amazing. Is it called a lobster roll? There's a lobster, lobster tail. tail. She's not eating lobster. 
she did walk. And I was like, why? She's like, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. No, I'm not afraid. My name is Arthur Preston, and I will be your master of cemeteries this evening. Final filled with something even worse. Uh, the maggots she'd already encountered. A tunnel filled with human skeletons. We took this tour so Tammy wouldn't have to walk. And now we're going up this hill. A steep hill. We didn't. We thought it was just riding around in a bus. Same hmm. color? I don't know if you can see these gravestones all around us. Probably not. I think this is the oldest graveyard in Boston. There's the North Church right there. Boston dates back to 1660 when William Cop was the first man buried here. Well, what we have discovered about Boston is there are no, apparently in the city, no fast food places. They only have restaurants. There's like a restaurant every, I swear, it's like there's a restaurant every 50 yards in some parts of town. And even in, in all parts of town, there's restaurants on every block, you know. And so we're like going, why is there, there's absolutely no fast food here whatsoever. I guess the city won't give them permits to have restaurants. And since there's no fast food places, there's hardly any breakfast places. Uh, and so they have a Dunkin' Donuts every 15 feet. And they have Starbucks on every corner. It's just like, I guess that's the breakfast that you get. So it's very interesting. That is a very interesting, I'm sure you're very interested in that. And that is a very interesting thing. And that's why I learned the most on the ghost tour. And tomorrow we're going to ride around on some buses for a... Um, just a historic sightseeing tour kind of thing. And we're Charles looking forward. Street looked really cool. Yeah, we, we saw some places that we would like to go. I've never seen so many people out just on the sidewalks walking around. There's nowhere in Atlanta like that. You know, where it's just it's such a different place. There's so many people that live here in, in the city. Like there are people that live like in Atlanta, you know, in Jacksonville and places like that. But this is, you know, so much different. 